Okay, guys. I don't know why I've never told you, everyone, why I really don't like to play with home tooth stories. Um, I just don't like it. It's so hard to have a sim from downstairs come upstairs and then you really can't find them after that. They just go poof. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try to rebuild this home a different style, a different way. I'm going to destroy the entire lot and I'm going to re rebuild it, build it my way. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two different pieces of walling here on the ground and it's going to transfer the texturings that are on the wall. And then we're going to keep a few things that I want to keep and then I'm going to get rid of everything. But the rest of that is going to be in the speed build coming up now. Stay tuned everyone. So guys, we are now back in The Sims 4. I had a really huge issue of how to really go upon the way of wanting to really build this. I've never really ever built a one story cottage ever in The Sims 4. And I know I've been wanting to do it. And I didn't wanna stay here until three o'clock tonight to really do voiceovers and post everything online because I really just don't have the oomph of really want to do anything and I just had really a lot of problems figuring out how I wanted to build this entire structure but when I figured it out that I really wanted the way it turned out to look amazing to look something from a Disney love story old style movie and that is when I literally was so stressed out that I had to go away for a couple of minutes and then we had a power flicker luckily my PlayStation didn't get affected but my entire computer ended up crashing in the midway of me trying to build this luckily everything auto saves and I came back and I ended up losing part of my footage when I was building this <sighs> But as I said, guys, the way this cottage sort of turned out, I kind of really excited to start building. Um, I had to ask my mom for advice because I didn't know how I wanted everything to look. And I wanted to look like it was, had some mods in it, but it didn't look overly used up. If you want to use that word. And... Um, when I was finishing this up, apparently there was a little, like, square thing. I think you guys will probably see where I was trying to fix it. And I just got fed up with the things and the shungles and everything else. I also got fed up the way the roof was. And I literally got rid of the, the way I did it. So that's another reason why I cut a lot of the older video out. And here's my mom trying to point me to how to do this. I wanted to do like a little off-ramp porch, but I was actually thinking about real life. And our porches in Saskatchewan, we like to have a little curve on our porches. So water can just seep right off of there so you don't have any issues with your, with your uh, roof leaking or rotting. So that is something that I really like. And here's me that I really like to do is add wood inside just to see how it would look if I really went upon the Canadian style way. So here's me asking my mom the, like what kind of doors we should do, what colors should we do, should we do the white trim on everything white outside. And she was telling me, let's try something different today. I've been doing a lot of different homes, a lot of shingles homes, and she wanted me to do everything brown. So I did. I loved the way it is. And right before I was done this video mainly, I looked at it and it kind of looked all right, I guess. And here's me having some issues with um, figuring out how I really wanted to have this all dealt with. But when I got it done, I just can't wait for part two to be finished. Um, so here's me actually fixing up the, you'll probably see coming up in a couple minutes, of me fixing the roof line. 
because so, I'm literally having issues figuring out because I was literally going to have a little tiny um, bathroom there and then this is just when I got those things and I just got rid of everything and here's me just having difficulties placing it on I was about to give up on those but then I was thinking like no this is a cottage we have to put these in so this is a long cottage like this is not just a little teeny tiny cottage in the woods this is something really big guys <laughs> But anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video so far. And part two should be out tomorrow. Or hopefully, if not, maybe Tuesday. All right, everyone. I hope you have a great, amazing, long weekend. I hope you have a great Monday. And I would like you guys to please stay safe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.